And a note came with it. I'll read it later. I got a crew of men waiting for me, and at $6 an hour. Don't you want to know what your future son-in-law said, Miss Candy? Sure, sure. But right now, we've got to install 300 bathtubs in an apartment house. <laughs> What's more important, your daughter's future or 300 bathtubs? Okay, read. <laughs> Dear Precious Jade. <gasps> I'm Miss Precious Jade. <laughs> Isn't that romantic? It's precious. I'll try it on Johnson, my foreman when he's not holding a wrench. I love you as the lotus blossom loves the morning dew, as the changing tides love the moon, as the east wind loves the cooing dove. <laughs> you never wrote a note like that to me. But I fixed your garbage disposal for nothing. You're in my thoughts always, from the top of your head to your tiny feet. Tiny feet? I shall pluck a star for you to wear in your hair. Big deal. What's that gonna cost him? I shall lay the earth at your tiny feet. Again with the tiny feet? My only thoughts are of the moment when we shall be joined together forever. <laughs> it's signed your adoring slave. That's pathetic. <laughs> and that's Johnson. Oh! Mama, I know he's going to propose to me tonight. Remember, don't push him. Just let nature take its course. <laughs> Hello, Johnson. He's on his way. Meanwhile, you can uncrate the tubs. Unwrap the faucets. Bentley, you do such a refined rumba. Sometimes it takes a lot of willpower. I got your candy. Thank you. It wasn't the nougat so much, it was the sentiment that came with it. Uh, Iris, I, um... Bentley, you've been trying to tell me something all night. Well, Iris, you're a wonderful girl. Oh, that's very generous of you to mention it. <laughs> what I want to say isn't easy. I'll make it easy for you. <laughs> I'm very happy. As I was saying, you're a wonderful girl and... You deserve the best. Oh, I know that's what I'm going to get. Oh, wait, Bentley, wait. I, I want a picture to commemorate this occasion. Miss, we'd like a picture. Oh, Iris, we, we really don't need a picture. Now, hold it steady. Thank you. Precious Jane. Bentley. <laughs> I'd like a few words, would you? Say them, Bentley. Say them. Uh, uh, excuse me. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Say, what is all this? What are you doing here with this? Working. I enjoy luxuries, like eating and sleeping under a roof. <laughs> but Precious Jade, I don't understand. What... My name isn't Precious Jade. It's Dolores Wong. And... And you're not from San Francisco either? Mister, if you'll excuse me, I make a living with this camera. Now, do you want this picture or don't you? I'll tell you what, I'll take two dozen of those if you'll deliver them to my home tomorrow at about noon. Two dozen? Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Thank you. Oh. New suit, how I look. Uh, Peter. Hope Precious Jade like new suit. Otherwise, I'd throw it away. I love her. Peter, maybe you better sit down. What, and crease pants? Peter, <laughs> Mr. Gray. Can future wife live in my room till we fix up small apartment? Peter. Yes, Mr. Greg. We, we've got to tell you something. Oh, Peter. And Ginger has an algebra exam tomorrow, and I promised I'd help her. <laughs> what matter with her? All women cry at weddings. Now, now sit down and listen. No time. Got a million things to do. Got something special to show you. Me and Precious Jade. How you like? We go through life side by side, together. Yeah, framed. What you say? 
My bride, my precious chance, she here! Now, Peter, don't be too surprised that Mrs. Wing doesn't show up. You see, she's not all... No time for bachelor jokes! <laughs> Good afternoon, Mrs. Wing. Welcome to Humble House. Good afternoon, Mr. Tong. Where's Precious Jade? Yes, where is Precious Jade? <laughs> the ancient custom decrees marriage broker to enter house of the bridegroom before bride. Oh? I thought you follow ancient custom of taking off for Canada. <laughs> that new ancient custom to me. I promise Precious Jade, and I deliver Precious Jade. Yaklan, yep, lay laugh. Who's she? This is precious Jade. <laughs> this? This? Now, Peter, I've been meaning to tell you. That picture was taken a few years ago. Since then, precious Jade has acquired a great love for rice. <laughs> But the slight change had in no way diminished her value as a desirable wife. <laughs> she not precious, Jade. I take him. I go see Better Business Bureau. Uh, Mrs. Wing, would you and the young lady mind stepping out on the patio for a moment? I'd like to talk to Peter. I dream of delicate flower, the mother of my son, to carry on the name of Tong. And what walks in? <laughs> Miss Chicken Fat of 1955. <laughs> Let me give it to you straight, Peter. There is no precious jade. This is a racket. You have been conned. No precious jade? I'm afraid not. But I... But Cousin Charlie... Lucky you liar! Don't worry, I'll get your money back for you. Who cares about money? Want you to defend me for murder of Cousin Charlie? <laughs> Peter, uh, you'd better prepare yourself for another shock. After what happened, nothing shocked me. <laughs> Peter, you all right? Peter, boy. Peter, are you, you all right? Keep fanning keep swamp. Uh, Mrs. Wing, would you step inside for a minute, please? Come on, boy. Come on. Auntie Chu, you promised me. You see, Peter, she was the girl in the picture, but her name is not Precious Jade. She's uh, Dolores Wong. A month ago, they tried to pawn me off as Exquisite Pearl. Before that, the Delicate Sapphire. Shame on you, Mrs. Wing. Auntie is basically an honest woman. But lately, she's been under the influence of a character named Cousin Charlie. Aren't we all? <laughs> There he is, Papa. Iris. Tiny feet and all. Who's he? My Papa, that's who's he. Yes, that's who's I. Writing my daughter mash notes, eh? Mash notes? The I don't know what... The East Wind loves the cooing dove. East Wind? Cooing dove? Big star plucker. Making plans for our wedding and then leaving me with my finger in the air. What wedding? I don't... don't deny it. I'm getting a lawyer. Oh, I'm a lawyer. Don't hire him. He's prejudiced. Did you or didn't you write her this note? Oh, oh, Mr. Schuster, Iris, I think I can explain this whole misunderstanding. Okay, go ahead. Well, it's very simple, really. You see, Peter, that's him, sent a note in a box of candy to Precious Jade. Now, you thought I was calling you Precious Jade when actually she was Precious Jade. <laughs> Only she isn't Precious Jade, she's really Miss Chicken Fat. <laughs> see, she was really Precious Jade in the picture, only she's not... Precious Jade, she's Dolores Wong. Well, anyway, now we know that there's no real Precious Jade at all, you see? And it all started when we went to Mrs. Wing's house. She's a matchmaker, and we went there to find a suitable mate for Peter, only now he's not getting married, and I'm not getting married. Mm. If I ever gave an explanation like that to your mother, you wouldn't be here now. Come on. Stay with us now for the Doris Day Show.
And tonight at 6 Eastern, Doug McClure and Claude Aiken's guest star on Crazy Like a Fox, only here on CBN.